Why we. I do not have this. I'm I'm sorry, but with no conference badge, you can't be on the podcast. Is it? Is it true? I am sorry. I just lost it somewhere. <laughs> Did they still let you have lunch? Yes, they gave me lunch, as they cannot just uh, leave the speaker hungry. <laughs> so yes, I got the lunch. I managed to grab the lunch. Very very good. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yes. Good. Deal. Doing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast. Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. No. I'm with Nitu Murdwani. You work at Acquia, you're a Drupal developer at Acquia yes. in New Delhi. Yes. We are at the Sprint Day, the Contributor Sprint yeah. at DrupalCon Mumbai. It's just wrapping up. It's the last day. How's your con been so far? Uh, my con has uh, has been great so far. So I was I was really waiting for this con to happen since this is the first con in India and it's my first con as well. So I got to network with people i got to work with my mentors and it has been great experience and also i was speaking so it was kind of very thrilling experience with people asking questions i was answering them so yeah, the con has been great and today i am working on contributing back to the community as i believe in contributing back so yeah the con has been great i'm having good time here we had nice party yesterday and yesterday night so yeah it has been great and so you got to learn a lot yes i got i got to learn a lot a lot uh, so basically there are certain challenges uh, which we face when we when we work remotely with people but when we are working together on person in person so it's it's like the the graph actually increases progressively so yes i learned a lot uh, which i uh, which i i i as for me uh, uh, the learning that i got in these three days is something which i did not which I had had not been this been possible i would have not got the kind of learning in next in, in like three months so it, it, it so three months of remote learning is just equivalent to three days of learning in person so yes wow so how did it feel to be the expert you gave a session yeah. people learned from you and then they had yeah. questions and you were able to help them how did that feel it felt great so uh, while delivering the session my main motive was that people get something from my session it's, it's uh, i wanted them i did not want it to be a monologue so yes i made sure that i am interacting with the, with the audience they are asking questions and there were certain challenges uh, which uh, there were certain challenges in drupal 7 and which are no longer there in drupal 8 with the help of configuration management system which all my session was all about so you have to probably watch my session to l- learn more about configuration management we'll link to your session that was comparing cmi to features yes. and what both of those are going to be good for in Drupal 8. Yes, yes. My session was about configuration management and features, features module. So uh, we, the community people, we started using features module uh, for deployment purpose, but it was never intended for deployment thing. So there were, as a result of which we see long standing issue queue uh, on D.O. So now we have configuration management, which we will be using actually for deployment. And there are, there were many pain points, which actually Drupal 7 de- developer was gra- grappling with. So now everything, uh, so all those are gone in Drupal 8. So yes, uh, we we uh, will now be using features for bundling bundling functionality, which uh, for which it was intended to develop. So yes, so my session was all about this. And CMI will be for deployment. Yes, CMI will be f- for the deployment, and Drupal 8 core uh, is coupled with many core functionalities. So it makes Drupal 8 is awesome, and if you couple Drupal 8 with features, it becomes super awesome. So yeah, uh, so. Yes, we should definitely start building sites on Drupal 8 because it is super exciting. We are working really hard to put modules from Drupal 7 to Drupal 8 so that people start uh, you using Drupal 8 at a at a larger uh, uh, speed, at a larger, larger pace. So yes. Uh, How did you discover Drupal? Do you have a first memory? Uh, so I discovered my first job was a Drupal. So accidentally I started working in Drupal but then I realized that Drupal is such a wonderful thing that I just cannot live without Drupal so it's it's uh, the same thing that I've said before that I came for the software but now what binds me to Drupal is the community so uh, this was my uh, first interaction with Drupal how I my first job landed me in working with Drupal 
I think it'd be a nice title to call this "Accidentally I Found Drupal." Yes, accidentally I found Drupal, but now uh, it's not not it's not at all not at all accident accidentally that I am working with Drupal, and yes, it's not accidental. Yeah, it was accidental that I started working on Drupal, but now it's my wish that I'm working on Drupal, and I still wish to continue on Drupal for long, for years and years and years, and probably infinite years. <laughs> Infinite years. That is a lot of code. Yes. Yes. When did you accidentally discover Drupal, and what version of Drupal was that? Uh, it was Drupal seven. So I started working with Drupal three years back. At that point of time, Drupal seven was the version. So I started working with Drupal seven. And what about Drupal makes it that you want to work on Drupal for infinite time? Uh, the the main reason. Uh, Uh, that I want to work for infinite time with Drupal is that I it's it's open source, right? Everybody, it's 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 not uh, it's not something that I just cannot update. I, I I can modify it as per my requirement. There are certain things I if, if there are so we have contributed modules, right? There are certain things which Drupal provides you out of the box. But if there are certain things that I want additionally, I can write the custom code. So it is expandable. It is scalable. So yes, this is something that. I uh, want want me to work on Drupal uh, for infinite years, and additionally, the it's like cherry on the cake. Community is so awesome that uh, I feel like working on Drupal for more. I look forward for camps. I look forward for 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 cons. So yes, community is one more. It's, I think one of the best, one of the main prime reasons that I want to work with uh, Drupal for more infinite years. <laughs> so, talk about the history of Drupal in India. Okay, so uh, as far as I remember, when uh, when I started working with Drupal three years back, uh, we were majorly the we were not the contributors. We we used to consume Drupal, but uh, I started uh, I started contributing uh, after six months. But then I realized that we should yes contribute back. First six months was my was my learning phase. So yeah, starting six months even I was only I was consuming Drupal. But now after after six months I started working with Drupal. I started contributing back and now i what i feel is uh, there are many government sites which are being run on drupal but still we have lot to cover there so yes no so, so, so the trend is changing we are becoming from consumers to contributors so, but the 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 little bit that i know about indian culture it seems to me that open source is a really really good fit for india because there's the values of of sharing and giving are, are really strong here is is that right yes yes we believe in sharing so sharing is like caring right yes but uh, there are certain challenges we, uh, which we need to overcome there are there are government is still supporting open so there are sites which are run on uh, drupal but still government there are many major sites which are yet to be built on drupal so yes we believe in giving back and i think we will be uh, next in next in next one year or two we will be like are we get official funding from government let's hope for the best since iit is a government institution and uh, iit came forward for just funding and just giving us the venue for the for hosting us for hosting drupal con so yes i think that government is also taking initiatives for uh, open source software for drupal so yes i let's uh, see how it goes and i hope that everything will be good and we yes we will be contributors yes so the iit there's a very tiny piece of the iit that you can see behind us it's the indian institute of technology in mumbai and they've hosted drupal con they've been very gracious hosts yes Yes, and additionally, IIT is one of the prime institute of India. It is one of the uh, big, big name in India. And since they have come forward, it's like a, it's like a huge step which they have take taken because uh, managing uh, such a big uh, organization, such a big institute requires number of people. It, it, it is not a one person decision. So if uh, so, there are board of directors who come up with the decision, and if they have taken. such a decision i think that this decision will have an impact of over other organization government funding uh, as well so yes hmm. do you have a favorite drupal module yes views <laughs> i love views uh, as we as we cannot imagine any site without views so yes my favorite module is views what's your favorite thing about drupal uh, my favorite thing about drupal is that it is expandable i whatever i want there if there are there are times that it is already available either in the core if not in the core there are contributed modules so it reduces the effort and if it is not i i can myself code so this is something it just it's just like i want a thing and it's there so this is my favorite this is the favorite thing about drupal yes now 
for everyone out there, young people considering a career, but not just young people, for everyone, what should people know about Drupal? What's the one thing that people should really know about Drupal? Uh, yeah, so, so the one major thing that people should know about Drupal is that Drupal is open source. It is one of the upcoming technologies of India and almost every company, almost every MNC uh, is using Drupal, is, is using Drupal to build sites and there are startups which are coming up and startups are also using Drupal. So uh, yes, uh, the career, the graph is going up and it will go up. There, there will never be uh, a graph going downwards uh, for Drupal. So yes, uh, it's, it's a great thing from career point of view since you will learn you will you will grow professionally and personally so yes everybody should go for drupal <laughs> <laughs> on that note thank you so much for taking the time thank to talk you. with me thank you for all your contributions thank you thank you thank you for uh, uh, for the podcast jam thank you very much and i had a lovely time here thank you for coming here thank you I really, really have enjoyed my time here. I'm really looking forward to coming back again. Yeah, please come back again. And this time, please come to Delhi. We'll take you to places. We'll be happy to host you. And all right. guys, you're, all, you're always welcome to India. Please. Thank you. I will take, a, I will take you on your word. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>